Gary Farmer is on Sci-Fi's Resident Alien. Based on the Dark Horse comics, Sci-Fi's Resident Alien follows a crash-landed alien named Harry, portrayed by Alan Tudyk, whose secret mission is to kill all humans. The series, premiered in February of 2024, also features members of the native Ute community, and among them is Dan Twelve Trees, portrayed by none other than the awesome Gary Farmer. I had the honor of interviewing this iconic actor, who is Cayuga Nation and the Wolf Clan of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy. And Gary Farmer, by the way, is celebrating 50 years in the TV and film industry. Here is our interview. Hey, Gary. So you're you're part of this uh, resident alien, huh? This is uh, something else for you that uh, out of the 759,000 projects you're doing these days. <laughs> Seems like it. I'm reading a lot of books aloud. Uh, a lot of native literature coming my way to bring to the world. And that's, uh, I just love the work, you know, 50 years, my 50th year, Vincent. So it's, it's been a Maybe. wonderful career. Yeah. Wow. Just, I look at your body of work over the years and there are signposts along the way of the trajectory of native actors in film and television. And you have been present at every one of those signposts, you know, um, how does it feel to be sitting here 2024 and still doing really wonderful, intense stuff? It's incredible. I, I, I look at what you've done. I'm just so excited. Yeah, me too. It's been, uh, it's amazing to sustain as an actor that long. Um, you know, there was a point, I think, Vincent, that uh, I remember that film Black Robe. Uh, came out and I, I yep. knew the history of my own people and I knew that wasn't it. And it stayed like top 10 in a Canadian box office or at number one box office film for, it seemed like forever. Yeah. And that's when I realized, oh my God, now I got to direct or now I got to create. <laughs> and I did for a moment, but it, it, it it's so much, it's so hard to be on that end of things. And I just love my life as the actor. So I, I maintained, and it was nice to see so many young people like Jennifer Podemski, you know, come along and, and really have an impact like she has this year. Mm -hmm. So it's it's nice to watch her, you know, grow from a teen into a executive yeah. producer and making television for North America. So that's, yeah. it's really a, 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 a special for me to a, be a, any part of that movement over the course of my career. And yeah. I, I feel like I took over who, you know, I did meet Chief Dan and I did uh, do an interview like you're doing with me today, Chief Dan George, and uh, before he passed. And, wow. you know, I got to say, when Will picked up that sink and Will Sampson threw that sink through the window as a young person, that had an impact on me. So wow. I I'm glad to carry, uh, you know, the strength of their performance and life, uh, you know, forward in mine. Yeah, I... Uh have been doing you know this as a native journalist especially arts entertainment for about 20 years now and you know you've always been there always have been there how does it feel talking to the young people now considering you know, that are representing native culture in such positive and fun ways i ask myself what do they need to hear now and and you know it's like a new narrative right what are the possibilities right how can we make uh, life better for our own people through storytelling? Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes it's telling them the obvious, but I think it's time now that we move to a whole new level of magic realism, I suppose, to create something special that's not necessarily at home, uh, but has the potential now. Right. So, you know, just trying to stay positive uh, through this last part of my uh, years as an actor that's great and now of course you know we got to talk about resident alien this is a fun show you you play dan 12 trees you know I, i'm just happy to be a part of this series i yeah. just love the storytelling and the alien coming to earth and such and my relationship with him and uh, <laughs> so it's been uh, it's been a real nice ride mm -hmm. you know it's in, it's been the best ride one of the best rides in my career Oh, that's fun. How, how's it working with Alan Tudyk? Oh, man, he's just a hoot, you know, and if you get to talk to him some, 
he'll tell you things you can't imagine with his career and the places he's been, you know, and uh, so it's, it's, I just love the whole cast. We all get along fine. Uh, it's been a, a, a wonderful ride for me. I was just telling that story, uh, Jim Buller. I don't know if you remember him. Probably not. Yeah. Association for Native Development Performing Arts. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he called on me. I was a photographer. I studied uh, film and cinema and photography. And he set me up to look after all these kids from Cape Croker. They were like 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. And we had a real British uh, theatrical master named David Calderisi, uh, old school Canadian actor trying to okay. infiltrate the minds of these young Nishnabi <laughs> kids and they were a little immature and mm -hmm. I came up as a young one a little older and 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 I fell in love right then and there and I've never turned my back on theater and performance ever since so it, it's really had a positive impact and you know being an actor you always got to make positive interesting choices so I always thought teaching theater uh, was a wonderful way to do that it's, it's been very, very, very rewarding. Okay, so uh, what is still to come? I know you still got some stuff under your sleeve there. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just happy that I still get offers uh, sometimes, uh, especially with literature and such, reading books aloud. And you know, I'm about to do the Leonard Paltier story. Uh, oh, wow. uh, after all these years, I've known that book for years, and to have it now published, is is really i mean that's a potentially great story mm -hmm. uh, that whole 70s revolution oh, yeah. that happened for native america and in the united states specifically but uh you know of course canada was involved because they kind of you know didn't do the right thing and they he ran into canada and they gave him back uh yeah. illegally so there's there's a lot of story to tell there i know this is your interview for me to ask questions but I want to say something in that um, I have long watched your body of work and I've always enjoyed, you know, your performances from all the way to smoke signals to, to uncle Brownie. I mean, you know, it just, you are literally a, a joy to watch Gary. I, I've always really just enjoyed your performances. You've brought a lot of joy to my life because I love film I love television and you've just been a really fantastic gracious part of that and I just really have to say thank you and I know a lot of people share how I feel you know you really have just consistently given gifts to Indian country and native people all over this country and world so I, I just really have to say say thank you for that because you just really are a cool cool dude <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Vincent I really appreciate that. It's uh, It's been an effort of mine to do exactly that. So it's all paid off for me. And yeah. uh, it's been a great career. Thank you. Yeah, man. Well, that's fantastic. Gary, thank you so much. I really appreciate you so much. I, and I, I'm thrilled that I got to talk to you. And, uh, you know, uh, keep go keep going to get him, sir. <laughs> okay, buddy. Cool. Ona, take care, bud. Cool. Okay, bye.